It looks like she stopped nosing around, which means she's probably found a capillary now. <laughs> oh, there's blood. Oh, yeah. You'd never want to stick your arm inside this cage full of hungry mosquitoes or voluntarily unleash these ticks onto your skin. But that's exactly what Consumer Reports does to find the most effective insect repellents. Here at this laboratory, we test everything from repellents in popular aerosol and pump sprays, wristbands, candles and repellent blowers, and even an oscillating pedestal fan. So how do we find repellents that work? Let's start with mosquitoes. Not only are they a nuisance, but in the US they've become an increasing source of disease. The two most worrisome, the Culex and Aedes species of mosquitoes, which are known to spread West Nile virus and chikungunya respectively. Both diseases can give you fever, joint pain, and headaches. Our testers are not in danger. The lab breeds insects, so they are disease free. We start by applying topical repellent to each of the test subject's forearms. The tester sticks his or her arms into two cages filled with 200 mosquitoes of one species. The tester leaves his or her arms in the cages for up to five minutes while lab staffers look for three things. Number of landings, number of probes, that's when a mosquito penetrates the skin with its proboscis, and actual bites, that's when the mosquito's abdomen fills with blood. A repellent fails if there are two or more bites in a single five minute period, or one bite in each of two consecutive periods one hour apart. It's very clear when a repellent is working. The mosquitoes swarm around the arm, but never make direct contact. When it comes to ticks, what everyone worries about is Lyme disease, which can cause fever, fatigue, and a bullseye rash. And if left untreated, the infection can spread to the joints, heart, and nervous system. In our tests, we use the tick most likely to spread this illness, the deer tick. Our ticks are nymphs because they are one of the smallest and the hardest to find on your skin, and they're the ones who transmit most of the disease. But as with the mosquitoes we test, these test lab ticks don't carry the disease. We mark three lines on the test subject's arm and treat the arm between the second and third lines with the repellents. Then we release five ticks, one at a time on the first line. Ticks tend to walk upwards on an arm, so we look to see how the tick reacts once it reaches the treated area. If it turns around or falls off, the repellent works. If two ticks out of five keep moving upwards or stay in the treated area, the product fails. We also test products known as area repellents that you might use in your backyard or on a picnic table. These include a citronella candle, a tabletop repellent blower, and an oscillating fan. We first cover two men and two women in high-density Tyvek suits to prevent bites and then send them into a large room where we release 250 hungry mosquitoes. The testers sit on stools and record the number of mosquito landings on each other. They look at different sections of the body for fixed periods of times and mark it down on a tally sheet. So which products perform best this year? To see the results of our most recent testing, check out our insect repellent section on consumerreports.org.